The ocean is a battlefield, not just for ships, but for the very structures that extract the planet's most vital resources. Imagine a single piece of machinery standing against the relentless might of the North Sea, lifting burdens few cranes on Earth could match. But what happens when that titan, designed for the impossible, faces a test that pushes it beyond its breaking point? A test where failure isn't just a setback, but a catastrophic collapse of years of engineering and tens of millions of dollars. This is the story of the Liebherr HLC 295,000, a leviathan of steel and hydraulics, and the moment it stared into the abyss. This is Hard Hat Industries. The sheer scale of offshore construction demands equipment that defies conventional understanding. We're talking about platforms weighing tens of thousands of tons, components so vast they dwarf entire buildings. And for years, the industry grappled with a bottleneck, how to efficiently lift and install these colossal structures in some of the most unforgiving environments on the planet. Enter the Liebherr HLC 295,000, not just a crane, but a paradigm shift in heavy lifting. When fully assembled, this Goliath achieves a lifting height of 175 meters above deck. That's taller than many of the world's most iconic skyscrapers. Its boom alone stretches an incredible 145 meters, a reach designed to pluck massive modules from transport barges and place them with pinpoint accuracy onto offshore wind foundations or oil and gas platforms. The numbers are simply staggering. Its maximum lifting capacity, the holy grail of heavy lift cranes, is an astounding 5,000 metric tons at a radius of 35 meters. To put that in perspective, that's equivalent to lifting 2,000 fully grown African elephants or over 20 empty Boeing 747s. This isn't just about raw power, it's about precision. The Mega Crane is equipped with advanced control systems that allow operators to maneuver these immense loads with a degree of finesse typically reserved for much smaller machinery. This blend of brawn and brains is crucial when you're working in the unpredictable swell of the open sea, where even minor deviations can have catastrophic consequences. How does a machine this heavy, carrying loads this immense, stay stable on a floating vessel? The physics behind offshore stability will blow your mind. It's engineering that goes far beyond just bolting things down. But beyond the raw power, what aspect of this crane's design impresses you most? The ocean, by its very nature, is a force of constant motion. Even on a seemingly calm day, a vessel will pitch, roll, and heave. For a crane of this size, perched atop a floating insulation vessel, Maintaining balance is a feat of engineering as impressive as its lifting capacity. The secret lies not just in the crane itself, but in the vessel it operates from, the Orion. This vessel is equipped with an intricate ballasting system, a network of tanks and pumps that can rapidly shift thousands of tons of water. As the crane lifts a load, or as waves impact the hull, sophisticated sensors detect even the slightest tilt. In milliseconds, the ballasting system compensates, pumping water into tanks on the opposing side to counteract the movement, keeping the vessel level and the crane stable. Think of it like a massive automated seesaw, constantly adjusting to maintain equilibrium. Beyond active ballasting, the Orion's sheer size and design contribute significantly to its stability. With a length of over 216 meters and a breadth of 49 meters, its immense displacement provides a stable platform, resisting the forces of the sea. The vessel also features deep drafts and carefully calculated metacentric heights, ensuring that its center of gravity remains low and its inherent stability high. This is not just about preventing capsizing, it's about minimizing sway and movement to allow for precise lifting operations. Any significant lurch could cause the massive load to swing dangerously, risking damage to the structure, the vessel, or even the crane itself. The constant battle against the relentless ocean is a testament to the integrated engineering of both the crane and its dedicated vessel. It's a dance of steel and water, where every movement is precisely calculated, every countermeasure meticulously deployed. But what happens when the calculations are pushed too far, 
when the theoretical limits are met with the harsh realities of a full-scale test. In an industry where margins are razor thin and failure is not an option, every critical machine faces tough trials before active duty. For a crane of the HLC 295,000's magnitude, this involves an overload test, a crucible designed to push the machinery beyond its stated capacity to prove its structural integrity and safety margins. The planned test for the crane, conducted on May 2, 2020 in Rostock, Germany, involved lifting an unprecedented 5,500 metric tons, 500 tons above its rated maximum. But at 2,600 tons, disaster struck. The crane's boom buckled and collapsed due to a failure in an externally supplied crane hook, a critical weak point that triggered devastation. Two workers were hospitalized, ten treated on site, yet thankfully, no lives were lost. The financial implications were enormous, with repair costs estimated in the tens of millions of euros and delays to the Orion's delivery schedule. It was a moment of profound tension, a potential blow to confidence in cutting-edge engineering. Yet, from the wreckage of this colossal failure, a different narrative began to emerge. In the face of such a catastrophic failure, what's the first lesson you would take away? The collapse of the HLC 295,000 was a catastrophic event, but it was also a profound learning experience. The subsequent investigation was exhaustive, revealing the exact points of failure and leading to immediate and significant improvements in design, materials, and testing protocols. This wasn't just about fixing one crane. It was about elevating safety and reliability standards for future heavy lift operations. Liebherr, along with the vessel owner and heavy lift specialist Sarens, quickly committed to rebuilding and reinforcing the crane, incorporating the lessons learned from the failure. The damaged components were meticulously replaced, reinforced and subjected to even more stringent testing, with steel construction starting in September 2020. The rebuilt HLC 295,000 Operational again by May 2022 for the Moray East Offshore Wind Farm is not just a repaired crane. It's a testament to resilience, a symbol of an industry that learns from its mistakes and emerges stronger. It's a crane that has stared failure in the face and, through relentless innovation and a refusal to yield, has returned to conquer the impossible once more. This dedication to continuous improvement, to turning setbacks into stepping stones, is what truly defines heavy industry. This giant isn't just a marvel of steel, it's a catalyst for a sustainable world. At Scotland's Moray East Offshore Wind Farm, this Titan installs massive turbine foundations, each weighing thousands of tons with surgical precision, powering millions of homes with clean energy. Its 5,000-ton capacity and 145-meter boom make it unmatched for handling next-generation wind turbines, pushing the boundaries of renewable energy. Beyond wind, it tackles the colossal challenge of decommissioning oil and gas platforms, dismantling relics of the fossil fuel era with efficiency no other crane can rival. Each lift is a step toward a greener planet, proving that engineering can reshape our future. In the relentless North Sea, where waves and wind test every bolt, the HLC 295,000 stands firm, not just lifting loads, but lifting the promise of a new energy era. This is heavy industry redefining what's possible. Considering its impact, do you think massive cranes like this are the key to accelerating our transition to renewable energy? A titan built to conquer the harshest seas, this crane faced its ultimate test in 2020 revealing a hidden vulnerability in a moment of crisis. But the story didn't end there. It became a powerful narrative of learning, adaptation, and the relentless pursuit of progress. It reminded us that even the most monumental achievements are built on a foundation of constant challenge and the courage to rebuild. The ocean may be a battlefield, but with machines like this and the human ingenuity behind them, the impossible continues to be redefined. Thanks for watching. This is Hardhat Industries.